In this video, we're going to look at how to install and maintain a mod list for Bannerlord. It's not as hard as it seems, so let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is figure out which version of Bannerlord we're on. The easiest way to do this is to check your Steam library. To the right of Bannerlord, we can see the numbers in brackets, which is the current patch version. In this case, we're on 1.8.0. Now let's head over to Nexus Mods. Link is in the description. In order to download anything, we have to have an account. They have a paid version and a free version. Don't bother with the paid one and just sign up for the free one. From the main screen, we need to find Bannerlord, which happens to be on the homepage for me. If it's not on your homepage, simply search for Bannerlord in the search bar at the top, or click on the view all games and search for it there. To make our lives easier, we will add it to our favorites, which can be done by hovering the mouse over the top right of the thumbnail and clicking add to favorites. Now we click on the Bannerlord and look for some mods. There are a couple ways to search. If you know what mod you're looking for, it's easiest to type it into the search bar. In this case, let's look for Realistic Battle Mod. We don't need to type the full name, which can come in handy if we don't remember the exact spelling or even the full name of the mod. Clicking an RBM brings us to the main mod page, which has a description, some version changes, notes, installation instructions, etc. To download the actual mod, we need to click on the Files tab. From here, we see a bunch of files to choose from. In this case, we're going to install the two modules for RBM, the AI module and the combat module. We know the version of Bannerlord we're playing on, so we need to find the mod that matches it. In this case, 1.8.0. To download, we click on the manual download button. If there are other mods required for this to work, there will be a pop-up notifying us. In this case, we have to have the unblocked DLLs file. To make things easier, hold control and click the unlock DLL button and then left click the download button. At this screen, we just need to click on the slow download. These files are very small and shouldn't take more than a few seconds each. Now let's scroll back up to the top and look for these buttons. I'd like to use the tracking function as these mods are updated quite frequently and it's a pain to look for them individually. Each time we track a mod, it's added to a list and we can see all of them in a single click. Under mods at the top, Click on Tracked Mods. We can see which mods have been updated since we last download, saving a ton of time. Don't forget, we still need to get the DLL Unlocker on the other tab that we opened up. And again, Manual Download, choose the slow one, and we'll download that. So now we have three different files downloaded and it's time for the scariest part, opening up system folders. Don't fret, Papa Strat will hold your hand through this process. I like to pull the downloaded files onto the desktop. But essentially, we need to open these zip files and extract the folders inside. We double click on the RBM AI module and drag the folder out to the desktop. We do the same thing for the combat module and we'll set these aside. Now the DLL unblocker is a little different. This one doesn't actually go the same place that these do. I created a separate folder and just dragged them in here. And we wanna keep this in a location where we can easily remember because this is a very important step. So we have our two files for RBM ready to install. We need to go in and find the main Bannerlord files. This might be different if you opted to customize the install of your Bannerlord location, but the default is usually found in this way. Go to your C drive, program files, in my case, the x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, and modules. Personally, I like to pin this folder to the quick access menu. Then anytime you need to open up the file explorer, you can easily find your quick access menu at the very top. So we find our modules, we click on it, and we don't have to go through that whole thing just to get in here again. At this point, we simply need to drag our mod files in. If there's any existing, you can replace them. That's how we would do it if we were updating our mods as well. Now the next step is very important. We need to unlock the DLL files by running that unblock program that we downloaded earlier. Double click the launch me file and let it work its magic. If you don't do this step, it will generally crash at the launch, so don't forget. I've done it several times before. And now the final step is to open up Bannerlord and make sure the mods we want to use are enabled and in the correct order. Open up Bannerlord and before launching the game, click on the mods tab on the right side. This will bring up the full list. Several mods will require you to install these top four and they don't add any content to the game, but simply allow the mods to function. So they need to stay at the very top. Then we scroll down and look for the two RBM mods we have installed to make sure they are enabled. Now we're free to launch the game and enjoy the mods. 
There are a couple more things to keep in mind when using several mods at the same time. There may be some conflicts that will cause a crash and finding the culprit can be a challenge. There are also mods that will be very specific about the order in which we place the mods on the mod list. For example, I have Adonai's Troop Changer and True Armies of Calradia. Looking at the mod page, the author states in the post section that the load order must be RBM, then ATC, and finally TAC. If we mess up the load order, it will most likely result in a crash. If you're experiencing a crash that happens at a repeatable event, then it can help narrow down which mods are causing the conflict. A perfect example of this is the Rebalance Tournament mod and True Armies of Calradia. The Rebalance Tournament mod replaces all armor pieces for each combatant, but True Armies of Calradia also changes armor loadout, which ultimately causes a crash each time we try to compete in a tournament. By unchecking the Rebalance Tournament mod and testing it again, we see the tournament now plays out without crashing. If you get stuck and can't find out what's causing the crash, feel free to go back to the Nexus mods page and look for an update to the mod or check the posts to see if others have found a fix for the same issue. For the final section, we will look at keeping our mod list updated. Before I had mentioned clicking on the tracking button for each mod we installed, now we can see why. Clicking the mods drop down and track mods button, we see the full list of mods we have installed. If there is a file that was uploaded after we downloaded, there will be a tag on the thumbnail saying updated. In this case, True Armies of Calradia has an update, so we head over to that page. Under the Files tab, we can see which files we downloaded last and the date that that was done. We can also see when the author uploaded the file last and see if there's a mismatch. We simply need to download it, unzip to desktop, move the folder to the modules folder, and run the unblock DLL. It's as simple as that. Don't forget to unblock that like button and I'll see you on the next one.